Calgary's climate emissions in context. Note, some numbers may vary slightly due to different forms of calculations. Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society and today I'd like to set some context on Calgary's GHG emissions and the proposed Calgary Climate Plan which is going to cost people 87 billion dollars. So let's have a look and see what I've found. Here's Calgary. Beautiful Calgary. Look at that clean air. Look at that wonderful city. Calgary wants to stop climate change with 87 billion of your tax dollars. And when I say your tax dollars, I mean everyone, because what generally happens in municipal climate plans is that they say, oh, this money won't come only from city residents and taxpayers and ratepayers. This money will be coming from the federal government and we're going to get part of it from the provincial government. But the main thing to remember is that there's only one taxpayer. So even if you're getting it from the federal government, it's still your money. <laughs> you still paid it in taxes, or someone did. And likewise, because we have a climate plan, then people in Ottawa also want to have a fancy climate plan, and theirs is going to cost $67 billion. And where do they think that money will come from? Well, not only from taxpayers in Ottawa, but also from the federal government, from the provincial government. Again, there's only one taxpayer. So these plans are going to impoverish your children for generations. And I'm going to show you that they are meaningless plans senseless and useless. Let's have a look. So the gross annual emissions of Calgary is about 18 megatons CO2 equivalent, carbon dioxide equivalent, every year. That is about 6% of the gross Alberta emissions of 267 megatons CO2 emissions equivalent every year which works out to about 14 tons CO2 equivalent per capita per Calgarian. Calgary's gross annual emissions are about the same as Montreal. And Calgary's annual emissions are less than 10 hours of the gross annual emissions of China. 10 hours! Calgary's annual emissions are the equivalent of 20 days of the municipal emissions of Shanghai. So in fact, China emits in one month what Canada emits in a year and a half. And here you can see an overlay map of Shanghai, which is the sort of purplish color, uh, with the kind of reddish color of Calgary. So the metro area population of Shanghai in 2022 was 28,517,000 and Calgary had a population of 1.4 million in 2022. So the point here is that Calgary reducing its emissions will not have any impact on climate change or global warming. And really, as a municipal, you know, municipality with obligations to local ratepayers, we have so many other clear and present dangers and issues that affect residents of Calgary, like the number of people sleeping rough in Calgary, the Calgary business community disappointed as property tax burden is set to rise, a third of downtown office space sits empty, a gut punch to get punch to Calgary's economy. We have so many other clear and present dangers and issues that affect residents of Calgary that Mayor Gondek and Council should stop their climate emergency virtue signaling, roll up their sleeves, and act wisely on behalf of residents. Provide good government as per the Municipal Government Act of Alberta not meaningless, financially destructive climate ideology. Even the Parliamentary Budget Officer has written a report stating that while the impact on Canadian GDP 
is from global GHG emissions, Canada's own emissions are not large enough to materially impact climate change. So if Canada's emissions do not materially impact climate change, Calgary's emissions certainly don't. If you like the kind of insights that we bring you from Friends of Science Society, please join us, please donate, please help us out. Send us an e-transfer. Some people are sending us $20 because it's our 20th year of operation. We've been providing free information to the public, free education to the public, and reports for policymakers to give these insights and understandings of what's valuable in action for climate and what's ridiculous. And the Calgary Climate Plan, I'm sorry to say, is ridiculous, ludicrous, horribly expensive, and it will be very, very damaging to our children going forward because they'll have to pay this debt. It's all being deficit financed at the moment. So, you know, we're not in a good financial position to be throwing money away on climate action, especially when it will have no impact on climate change anywhere in the world. So I hope you'll support us, and I thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope that you will join us, become a member, um, donate if you can, and if you can't, just share our stuff. We'd really love that. And please feel free to put comments below. Please subscribe. Please share our material. Thank you very much. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.